Let's move on to the next one. Tevin Campbell. Ooh, that Tevin Campbell ain't playing with you, bitch. Tevin Campbell ain't playing with you. Billy, go get your bitch. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, and subscribe because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. And if you are not already a part of our uh, book club, please remember to hit the Patreon link below and or the join button. And, small, and for a small $5 monthly fee, you can be privy to all the shenanigans before YouTube gets it. Now, let's talk about this goddamn lady, Jaguar Wright, running a whole muck out here, y'all. That hussy is running a muck. Philly, come get your bitch. Okay, so I got like two Aretha Franklin videos to do today. And what I decided to do was to um, just do a get ready with me while I'm putting my makeup on before I do the uh, Rita Franklin videos, right? Let's talk about Jaguar Wright and her victims, okay? The first person on her list I want to talk about is Alicia Keys, all right? Now, she said something about Alicia Keys that people in the life already knew, Okay. I've been knowing for years that Alicia Keys like the vagina. I've been knowing it for years, you know? And I don't know what it is about this industry that if you have a proclivity for the ladies, that they must hurry up and marry you off to any and everybody. Now, Jaguar Wright said that she stole that girl's husband because of... Um, she stole the girl husband because, you know, she was trying to hurry up and cover up her sexual preference. So what happens is you get your heart broken by some, you know, female bull dagger, you know, carpet muncher, whatever, you know. Y'all, listen, y'all can't say those words, but we can. Just the same way that, you know, when you hear white folks say the ninja word and it makes you uncomfortable, when somebody outside of the life says the word, it makes us uncomfortable. And I'm not talking about you um, bisexual bitches that, you know, whenever y'all in a mood for a lady, y'all wake up and be like, oh, I want to do a threesome with my husband. If you've never loved the same sex before, then you're definitely not allowed to say those words, okay? I remember back in the day when I was home a couple of years ago, I think in 2003, when I was just starting my job as a probation officer, I remember hearing an interview with Alicia Keys and Donnie Simpson. Donnie Simpson said, who is this beautiful woman with you? Alicia Keys said, <laughs> just like that, uh, that's my sister. Donnie Simpson said, you got a beautiful sister. And if you know in the life, if you use the term sister, that means that is your sister in the life. Okay? Because that wasn't Alicia Keys' sister, you know? And then all of a sudden she went to Egypt because she had to get herself together. Probably because she found out that the, the girl that was her sister... You know, wasn't shit. Okay. Um, all of a sudden, Swiss Beats is in a picture, okay? Now, let me tell you something. What happens is when we make decisions to leave the life and we go over to the straight life or not the straight, well, you know, to mess with a dude, it's like you have to stay in it because it's a lot of people in the life that once you cross over, they look at you as you didn't turn your life or turned your back on the life. You're no longer one of us. So it's almost putting you in a frame of mind of, I done fucked it up. Now I got to stay here. You know, so no matter how good or bad the relationship is, she got to stay in it. And like I've always told you people, timing is everything. 
So she got her heart broken by the, the one that was her, my sister. She got her heart broken by that bitch, whoever that bitch was. Went down there to the Egypt. When she came back, that got them Swiss uh, big nose beats, got in her ear, and was telling her sweet nothings, you know, because timing is everything. She was very vulnerable. I'm sure Swiss Beats was like, oh, me and my girlfriend, or me and my wife, we've been broke up. But you know how niggas do. They be saying, they be, they be saying that their wife, them and their wives been going through problems long before they even walk down the aisle. They be girlfriend and boyfriend, me and my wife having problems. They be on the, uh, you know, on the carpet, about to walk down the aisle, me and my wife having problems, okay? Honeymoon, me and my wife having problems. Three kids later, me and my wife having problems. And Alicia Keys being inexperienced with the straight life, she fell for the bullshit. I got caught up like that too before myself, and I did the same thing. Well, I had to stay in a relationship with a dude because I knew I fucked up, okay? So anyway, let's move on to the next one. Tevin Campbell. Ooh, that Tevin Campbell ain't playing with you, bitch. Tevin Campbell ain't playing with you. Philly, go get your bitch. Go get her because she out here running a whole muck. Or did y'all already, uh, you know, disown the hussy? I don't know. That bitch out here running a whole muck, okay? I want to know, is she safe out there, right? So anyway... Child, she then said that that man, Tevin Campbell, was out there selling his vagina. I know that's a woman. Well, out there selling his boy bussy to um, whoever would pay out there on Hollywood Boulevard. Inappropriate, Jaguar Wright. That man was over there, sitting down, doing whatever it is he's doing in life. I don't know what the fuck Tevin Campbell is doing. He looked like he teach uh, grade school, okay? And I ain't even trying to be funny like that's some kind of bad job. But he looked like, you know, he's moved on with his life. He's accepted the fact that, hey, if they call me for a gig, then I'm there. But, hey, that part of my life is over, okay? She brought up the fact that, uh, you know, he was exploited in the industry. I, I do not take away from the fact that what she's saying about how these children are passed around in the industry, I believe it. Aren't we reading the, aren't we reading the Aretha Franklin book that is making this shit sound normal? Okay. I got a past. I do. And if, you know, God blesses me in a place where I can be bigger, then God damn it, some things are going to come out about me, good and bad. You know, some of the things might make you all cry. Some of the things might make you be like, God damn, Nate. But nonetheless, it's my past. And nobody wants to be smacked in the face with their past, especially if it's about them sucking dick on Hollywood Boulevard. Okay. I felt that it was in very poor taste, especially because you're getting paid, Jaguar, right? I, I, when I seen you around there with Storm Monroe, you know, congratulations on 100K. I was like, oh, this, she getting paid around here because her cash app was right there. And that's part of the reason why I didn't, I don't really care to do celebrity news because celebrities are human too, despite them being, you know, whole bitches sometimes. But I, I just felt like, man, leave Tevin Campbell alone. But anyway, the key key is Tevin Campbell said, lady, I don't know who you are. Okay, you're over there looking like Ernie. Okay, not Ernie. Bert in brown skin from Bert and Ernie. Jack okay. right, what is going on? You looking too fucked up for you to be talking about people. When you go on camera, lady, I am looking at you like, what in the hell? is? Girl, do you know you look like crazy? Do you know that? You know your skin looks so dry. You look like you are a heavy smoker. Jack Raw right. I don't want no, I don't want no mess. I don't want, I, Jack Raw right, I don't know you, lady. I don't want no, I, we just fine. Okay, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight nobody from Philly. Okay, all I'm saying to you is that you look crazy out here looking like you're burnt out. Like you don't put no type of moisture on your skin. You look fucked up, Jaguar. You look like you need to drink a cup of water. I'm sorry. And then you out here and you telling people business. So it's looking like it might be some issues going on with you. Okay, Tevin Campbell, all I know is Tevin Campbell said, shut your damn mouth before I get my lawyers on you. Now, I don't believe that Devin Campbell got lawyers. I mean, he might got legal Zoom, okay, but he ain't got no goddamn lawyers. Okay, so moving on, let's talk about Mary J. Blige. I've been knew Mary J. Blige wanted to suck on her pussy from time to time. 
Okay, she said, if I'm correct, y'all can correct me that um, she was saying how uh, the girl that supposedly can do left her for was somebody, you know, that, you know, them two might have had or them three might have had some issues with. And I'm saying to myself, why do all these, why does she even know Murray J. Blige business? You know, it's from a friend of a friend. The same way that she knew Tevin Campbell from a friend of a friend. Whoever's Jaguar right friends don't tell that bitch nothing else. Because everything you tell her, she going to tell it. I couldn't be that bitch friend. I wouldn't call her no more, never. You want to go to the movies? I go by myself before I call that bitch Jaguar right. Never to the never fuck her, fuck her. Okay. She also said that uh, Mary J. Blige was one of the uh, people to bring new artists to Puff Daddy for him to exploit. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know I think Diddy is the devil. She confirmed it. So... I don't really have too much to say about Diddy. I didn't say that nigga was the devil before. Him and that bitch Chris, Chris Jenner. She the devil too. So I'm back, y'all, right? And the reason I had to come back right quick is because, just one more thing about Jaguar, right? And I had to get on camera to correct some shit. You know, this is the problem about people who talk too fucking much and think they know every fucking thing, okay? Luckily... Okay, she was talking about Mary J. Blige, like I said, and she was discussing how uh, Mary J. Blige got her name, the queen of hip-hop soul, from Puff Daddy because Clive Davis had, um, had, had asked Puffy to make another queen, okay? So she said that the last time there was a queen of anything was Aretha Franklin. And Clive Davis was the one who named Aretha Franklin the Queen of Soul. Eh, bitch, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about, okay? Storm Monroe, I know you know that bitch is halfway crazy. It was okay. not Clive Davis who named Aretha Franklin the Queen of Soul. Aretha Franklin was on tour. Her booking agent, Ruth Bowman, had booked her a large gig down there in Chicago. I forget the name of the place that she performed. But the DJ introduced her. What was it? It was DJ something. I'm going to put the name of it in here. It was DJ something that opened, that welcomed her out with the title Queen of Soul. And it stuck. So anyway, it's right after Respect by Aretha Franklin is burning up the charts, okay? And she's doing a performance in Chicago, okay? And she is being introduced by the blues man, DJ Purvis. When he brung her on stage, he said, introducing the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. So it wasn't Clive Davis, your dad going dang it broad. And she wasn't even working with Clive Davis. She was working with Jerry Wexler, Lady Storm. You better keep that crazy bitch off your show. Tasha, Tasha, I've been saying, and girl, you looking good. You recovering quite well, Miss Tasha, but quite well, so okay? let's talk about my baby. Um, Erica Badu. She fucked me up, but I'm not so fucked up that I'm like, I can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see it. I see it. You know, I don't doubt it. But what Miss Jack Rob Wright said was that Erica Badu around here fucking app every rapper in sight just about. She didn't say that. But that's kind of like what she inferred, okay? She said that she had some niggas in the same group thinking that Puma, do I got this right? I think so. Anyway, she said that two rap she was fucking two rappers at the same time. But it ended up being the baby ended up belonging to another rapper. Okay. She liked rappers. Is that a crime? She liked rappers. If I could be this way and not be a whore, 
then to me, because I'm a Libra, if you have something beautiful, you want to touch it, you know? So, I mean, I ain't trying to make excuses for the lady, but I understand, you know, if you see a rapper, ooh, that rapper is moving me, then I want to touch it. I want to make it a part of my, my being, you know what I'm saying? I want to share the best parts of us over there. In a bedroom. Am okay. I like shocked that uh, uh, Erica Badu be getting down with these rappers? Answer no. Then Jaguar White, I was fucked up with this storm my row. You should have fell the hell out just like I did. But then she, um, then what happened was she said that Andre 3000 was down Dallas playing the flute at the gas station. I saw that shit. I saw that shit. And Erica Badu, if you if you did something to that damn man, Andre 3000, and his ass can't rap no more, because you know he said that he had, um, you know, some mental health concerns that stopped him from making a lot of money. But he has always been there for his son, Seven, right? Now, Jaguar White says it's because Erica Badu got uh, his underwear or something in the backyard in Dallas. Somewhere he can't leave Dallas, and also type. I also heard that Andre three thousand sex is on five thousand five million. Okay, they say that nigga is the best lover in the world. I can believe it. You hear me? I can believe it. Like he looked like when he lay you down, ladies. He lay you down like a woman. Blink. Like he lays you down with um. Yeah, like he, yeah, like he is, ooh, yeah, you know? But anyway, I believe the lady that said, or the groupie lady, because it was a groupie hoe that said that. She was like, I slept with Andre 3000, and he was the best lover I ever had. He was amazing. His body was beautiful. His pickle was strong. I was like, ooh. He's a Gemini. Geminis are known. The universe is known to pick on Geminis and give them some kind of mental health problems. Hence, Trump, Trumpity Trump. Okay, Tupac say what the fuck you want to. That nigga was crazy. Okay, and uh, did I say Trump? Mm -hmm. Trump, Kanye. You know them Gemini's be crazy as fuck. Look, my uh, mother-in-law got me some Chanel mascara, and it's like blue black. She thought that it would make my eyes pop, so let me try it out. So, what y'all think? I love them. It's the blue Chanel mascara. I love it. And of course, you know, I'm using my Lolly Dolly Obsession. The uh, the uh, discount link is below. And I'm going to finish it off with this and then do some other little things before we end the video. Oh, which one? Be right back. Well, I decided to end it. Look how I twisted this up, child. But anyway, I decided to finish off the look with my vintage Yves Saint Laurent glasses. My beads that my uh, wife makes, zenthoughtbrand.bigcartel.com. I got this shirt. I think I got it from Carbon38. And I got these joggers a while ago from the Gap, okay? And I'm just going to throw on like a pair of sneakers or something with this, right? But, love bugs, if you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, and subscribe because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube and Remember this. Shout out to Moon Man Baco. The same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down, my naysayers, my patron loves, my love bugs, my bellas. Be safe.